hey, just want a big shout out to everybody that's out there winning right now. So many people that are getting overlooked and not heard. And You know, I know the world is a noisy, noisy place right now. We're talking about all the terrible things that are happening, all the injustices and the, everything, all the noise. But I think we forget all the self-made from scratch, claw and bone, men and women that, that have created something for themselves, their names, their brands, and their families. And if you'd have told me, if you would have told me if not too long ago, uh, you know, that I'd own my own business, um, I used to, I used to, just let me show you something. I used to, uh, I was a tenant here. This was a bank, it was Northern Trust. Great bank, by the way, I still have money with them. This was a bank. You walked in here, very, very conservative place. There was never more than maybe, I don't know, Johnny, can you just pan and show the, all the cars here? There was never more than maybe, what, Johnny, six or eight cars here? Yeah. And let's bring you to the back here. That's Cardone Enterprises back there. Cardone Capital is a company on the other side that you didn't see. This is Cardone University, Cardone uh, e-commerce. If you'd have told me just a few years ago, back in 2008, hey Grant, one day you're gonna own a company that does $100 million a year. You're gonna own a billion dollars worth of real estate. You're gonna be a tenant at a bank. And the bank, the, 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 the landlord is gonna tell you they're not really happy with you. So you know what you're gonna do, Grant? You're just gonna buy the building. That's not even possible. Twelve, less than 12 years ago, the things you see me winning at today were not possible 12 years ago. Not even, like, not remotely in my, in my mental. Yeah, there's, there was an idea that one day I'd have some success, and so one day I'd be somebody, maybe I'd write a book or something, but nothing like what, what we're experiencing today. And the problem is, like, you really can't, there's nothing I can show you guys that somebody's not gonna take and try to twist into me being arrogant or me being, you know, oh, he's, uh, he's trying to sell me on get rich quick. I'm the last guy in the world that will ever talk about get rich quick. If get rich quick is real, then you're looking at an idiot, idiot right now. You need to turn this video off because it's taken me 40 years to get in the neighborhood. This right here, I didn't even know. I'll tell you how dumb I am, okay? And everybody's dumb about something. When we bought this building, I came in here and I put our name on here. Um, I paid, I think they wanted 14 million. I paid $14 million for this building. We had what, 40 or 50 employees at the time? It's 25,000 square feet. I bought it, wasn't, it wasn't a good investment. I knew it was a terrible investment. I tore, I, I put my name on that building. I came in and put our flags up. Okay, we put our name on this side of the building. I thought that was the appropriate thing to do. Started taking names off of everywhere else. Kicked out Berkshire, they were one of our tenants. I didn't need them. Awful, awful people, by the way. Um, just, just nasty. Berkshire, you Berkshire real estate agents, the good ones, I'm with you, but you guys know the ones that used to rent here, they were nasty people. So we wanted to put names, I came in here and put palm trees all over the place, I didn't know any of this stuff. Guess what? I had to take my name off the building because I was so dumb, I didn't know I needed the, the city to approve it, so I got in trouble with the city. You're a bull in a china shop, uh, but get all these fines, I don't know. The point of that is this, look, one, if the get rich quick thing is real, then I'm a dumb dumb, which I agree I am about a lot of things. And two, if a dumb dumb like me can make it, anybody can make it. And when you hear somebody, when you hear somebody, you know, getting a Super Bowl ring or an NBA championship, you don't say they're bragging. You know, Jordan had six rings. People hated on him, hated on him for being a winner, though. 
his own so, teammates. His own teammates, man. Like, enough, enough. Uh, we've heard enough of him. I don't want to talk about him in every interview. Can you imagine being Pippen every interview? What was it like to be with Jordan? You know, or play, playing on the Lakers? What's LeBron really like? Every interview is going to be about the king. So, you guys out there, like, when you see people creating hate content online, just remember, what, what, who are they hating on, man? What are they hating on? What are we all hating on right now? Success is so important to your family. It's so important to your health, your mental condition. Like, I need to be successful for me. Not for the money, not for the watches, the cars, the buildings, the da-da-da. You know, the ego. Yeah, the ego likes all that stuff, but the reality is your mental health needs to know you're winning. And, I, and we need to get back, people need to get back to, like, being positive about hard work possibly paying off. You know, I've made a lot of sacrifices in my life. And I'm not asking anybody to feel sorry for me. I'm, I, I do know, though, that the first, the first trick to success is not what you learn. You don't need to buy a course for me if you want to be successful. And some guy, I heard some guy saying, Cardone's trying to sell a course. Okay, well, that's not the first step to success, though. First step is you have to give something up. You have to give up something about who you are. You want to solve a problem? You got to give up the idea that you do, you've either tried every way possible, or you don't know the you know that you've already tried that, or that's not going to work, or it's not. You got to give something up. My my whole life is different today because I continue to w be willing to give stuff up. At 25, it was drugs. I had to give drugs up. You know, at 29, it was people, some people in my life. I had to give them up. I'm like, okay, I outgrew these people. They were, I love them, still love them today, but I had to move on. Uh, at uh, 30, I had to move my location. I had to leave where I grew up and move to another city. At 31, I had to move again. I had to literally move to another city. Johnny, open up your, your, your thing you over there. Grant, what were you feeling? Like, Dude. Like, what was the yeah, I, well, I was feeling all these times when I've had to change, like gave up the drugs, gave up the location, gave up the friends. I was feeling disappointment in myself. I was feeling bored with myself. I was feeling like anxiety. When am I going to become somebody? You know, when am I going to, when am I going to fulfill my potential? Look at this beautiful piece of property right here. See, I think people like property like this because it's like, wow. You, you, you go on a vacation, you bring your family here to Turnberry, right? You stay here for a week. I, I think you like the time that you're getting off, that you deserve it, but you, you, it's also that wow factor. It's that piece of real estate you see, potential. Oh, who built that? The, the great catch or the, the dunk shot. Oh my God, potential. It's, 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 it's your, about your potential and my potential and the possibility that I could actually do something. Are you going to grab them? Are you going to grab the coffees? You know, Ryan back here, Ryan Secco back here, 20 years old, becomes the youngest. Can you shoot? Get Ryan going to the, to the, look at Ryan. When he grew that beard, when he grew that beard, he thought he was Conor McGregor. Why do we love and hate Conor McGregor? Guys, bodacious, loud, arrogant, willing to get his ass whooped. He don't care. He's in it for the payday, man. He's in it for the fame because he knows everybody's going to forget his losses and they're going to remember who he was. And how can I remember who you are if I never know who you are? Yeah, I grew up where it was like practice humility. Be heard, be seen and not heard. No, be heard and not seen. Be seen and not heard. Never show off. Never brag. Never tell anybody what you're doing, okay? Uh, your actions should speak louder than your words. Yeah, but not today, man. In today's world, man, if you don't tell people what you're doing to win, you are literally like, you are stealing from your friends and your family. You got to get rich in your mind, okay? For me, that always starts with what am I willing to give up? I can't just add stuff. If my mind is a garden, okay, and there's trees and, and bushes and flowers, and weeds and 
fertilizers and there's all this stuff in my mind. My garden, well, the first thing I might want to do before I start planting new stuff, take some of the stuff out of my garden. I need to make some space. I need to make some space. I need to remove the weeds. I need to mulch the ground. I need to take something out. I need to dig in, remove stuff, okay? Get the soil uh, ready for new plants and new trees. And a lot of times, in, in fact, every time in my life, for me to get, for me to get from this place right here, where I am, I'm parked right now, for me to get from here to there, I have to leave here. That is the number one rule of success. I have to give up something. And for me, I've given up drugs, I've given up friends, I gave up a girlfriend that I was like madly, madly in love with, crushed me for years. I've done that, two of those. They weren't right for me. They just weren't the right people for me. I was in love, but whatever chemistry, it diluted my power. Um, I've given up a house in Houston, Texas where I had friends and family. I gave up a house in La Jolla that I absolutely love, still love today, still miss that house today. 20 years I've been out of that house, miss it almost every day. Had to give it up though to become this guy. Uh, gave up a house, Elena and, and I gave up a house in Los Angeles. Magnificent, magnificent house. You know, I would flip my house where I live today, I would flip it off to go live back in that house today. People don't understand the sacrifices people pay every day. Every day, I still go to work today. I give up my free time to go to work because I got 107 employees that, that depend on me. For a paycheck, for inspiration. My, my company feels it when I'm not there. I know they feel it. Johnny the camera guy starts missing me. You know, the other guys start missing me. I got a great team too. My, my team holds everything together, but even when you're the the king, you work. You you're the man, the boss. You're the you're the the queen of the of the, of the empire. You're still working for other people. You got, still got to give up your freedom and your right to do whatever you want. So just a couple things. Hope hope you get something out of this. I'm sure somebody will twist off on it. Love your comments either way. Hope you subscribe to the channel. I'm just trying to figure out my own way. Thirty thirty years. 30 or 40 years. I've just been trying to figure out who is Grant Cardo. That's all I've been doing the whole time. Who am I? Where am I going? How can I help people? How can I do it right? See, for me to give up this place and go to Ryan, I can't stay where I am. And I'm gonna tell you folks, it, every time it's hard. Every time it's hard. Perfect. Every time giving up something's hard. You know, we just went through this terrible, terrible two months of being shut down in this country. I don't know what I'm telling you right now, except, dude, change is not easy. Staying the same is terrible. Ryan, I was telling you about Ryan back there. That guy gave up a job, gave up a good job with the airlines, six-figure job. Health insurance, cap tone. Okay, he could, he could, he could get, he could get laid with every, uh, every, you know, he could get laid anytime he wanted. When he went to, you know, Delta checked him into his little Hilton hotel, and the bagman would see him to his room, get him a thing of ice, tuck him in at night. He had to give that up to come work with me, man. I'm a hard guy to work for, folks. He loses his captain wings. There was no plane. We didn't have a billion dollars worth of real estate, you know? And he came and started making phone calls. Like, what are you willing to give up? You guys that lost your jobs, 40 million people lost their jobs and everybody's losing their minds. Man, what are you willing to give up? Man, you lost the job. Okay, what are you gonna do now? Give up the blame, give up the blame game, man. Give up the, the, the I'm angry. I'm an angry guy, ain't gonna get it. You gotta change. And it's hard to change. But it's a hell of a lot easier than staying where you are. That's what I always tell myself.